Where did 0.8 come from? Yeah, it's, it's somewhat arbitrary, this 0.08%. Um, it used to be in some states 0.10%, uh, in other states 0.08%. Relatively recently, the feds required, well, they bribed all the states to go down to 008 But most of Europe, almost all of Europe, is, has a blood alcohol uh, legal limit of 005 and some countries in Europe, like Sweden, have yet much lower uh, levels. Sweden and Japan have levels of 0.02 and 0.03. And uh, I think, based on our data, that is what you would actually decide to do if you were just going to look at the data. So let, let's talk about what you found. Yeah. Um, the, the, you're looking at these accidents, and then you start saying, what was the level of alcohol in people's blood involved? Right. What would you find? What you find is, is consistent with what they find in the lab, but people didn't know that this worked in the real world also. As uh, far as this data set I was talking about, records blood alcohol level in 0.01% increments. And you can see that the chance of being officially blamed for a crash goes up smoothly from 0.01 to 0.02 to 0.03 to 0.04, all the way up to 0.24. Um, so it's not a threshold effect. No, it is no threshold effect at 0.08 as you might expect from the law. It's just a smooth, and in fact, uh, there's, there isn't a, a detectable difference really between what's happening just under 0.08 and at 0.08. Does it does it sort of current level out? Or? Yes, it, it goes it goes up like this from 0.01 to 0.24, and then uh, it's level. So. Above 0.24, uh, you, you, no matter how drunk you are, <laughs> you're, you're drunk, right. right? But there's some level at which you're impaired, and uh, impairment is impairment, and you shouldn't be behind the wheel. Yeah.